I've re received a question on how do I go about forwarding my X11 session from Linux to Windows and doing that via PuTTY. So for instance, let me open up PuTTY and show first of all that I went under, under the category section here under connections under SSH. There is the X11 section and I check this box enable X11 by uh, X11 forwarding. And then I went up under my sessions and I saved that as my default. So whenever I make a connection, I'm always doing this enable X11 forwarding. So that's the first step. And this is assuming that you have SSH and X11 forwarding set up on a server, um, which on SUSE is going to be the default. So with that in mind, um, what you need on the what you need on the uh, Windows side is Xmean. You can you can do Sigwin and other options to do create a X server on your Windows box, but Xming I've found is the easiest. So just go Google Xming. You can come in here and download the EXE and install that. And as soon as you do that, um, you can have Xming. You can launch it automatically on boot up if you want. I, I don't do that myself. Um, I just launch it as needed, but I will go ahead and launch Xming, right? And then you see it running down here on the bottom right. So if I go and launch my putty session, let me just go ahead and go into one of my servers and I'm going through a VPN right now so it may be a little bit slower when I'm doing X11 forwarding so just realize that if you're doing things locally obviously it's going to be quicker um, I'm gonna first of all kill Xming um, exit that just so it's not running and I wanna show you without that running locally what happens so let's just go ahead and launch YAS2 cannot open display um, if you were to go there with the open SUSE 10 version I think what it will typically do oops it'll typically open up the menu base like this but apparently the later versions are not going to default back to that according to this test so anyway we'll go ahead and quit that so now let's go ahead and launch my X server Xming that's locally it's running um, I didn't have to do any special configuration for that or anything. Now we'll launch YAS2. And again, I am going through a VPN right now, so it is going to have to suck that through the VPN, which is not as great as connection as what I have to the rest of the internet. So it'll just take a minute for that to pull up. And here we go. So now this is all the GUI stuff. Um, it's running on the Xming X server right now. If I want to pull up DNS, for instance, I can click on DNS and that will launch another window um, and because again because I am remote to the site right now and it is going through a VPN it is taking a little bit longer than it normally would if I had all of this locally which I usually do when I'm working with this stuff it pulls up almost in instantly so that's how you go about doing it the quickest way is just install Xming make sure you have X11, X11 forwarding on the server under your SSHD configuration, which I'll show you now. VI Etsy SSH. SSH, SSHD config. See this X11 forwarding right here on the screen? So um, we have X11 forwarding set to yes for our SSH on the server you have Xming running running locally and then under PuTTY under SSH X11 make sure you have the enable X11 forwarding enabled there and as long as you have all that set up everything should work just fine if you have any questions or anything let me know but I hope you found this useful thanks for watching